Yeah. Hey, how about you wait? How about you, how you wait like a minute? A minute for what? A minute. A minute for what? You say whatever you're about to say. Okay. Who's standing right there? Who's, Who's standing, standing right there? there? Well, Gina Diamond's coming over. Oh, yeah, okay. Are you live? Yeah, I'm live. What? Is your thing on? Yes, okay. Gina Diamond's coming over because she like actually needs to. So anyway, I decide to put my makeup and do my hair on a live, right? Which, if I didn't, I probably would have been ready sooner. You might have to call Dawn, Adrian. So I start doing my makeup, right? And the lady that's staying with us starts, you know, getting a little chatty Kathy, right? And she's like asking me a million questions about making oatmeal and telling me about her life and... Just add hot water. <laughs> I would make it every morning. And, uh, I don't know. Um, just really talkative, nice, but talkative, and a little extra, and very nice, and then it just gets a little kind of strange. And then my chat kind of starts getting weirded out, and because they start getting weirded out, you know, my concerns about... <laughs> the weirdness is definitely confirmed. Yeah, it's definitely confirmed, you know what I'm saying, Adrian? And I definitely, I definitely didn't like the comment that she made to you where she said, I know for you that money is no object. And you said, uh, money is an object. I did not like that comment. Um, I don't know where she would get that issue. Okay, cool. I don't what was she, what did she mean? Maybe she was, take as a compliment. Maybe she's like, I don't find that as a compliment. And I, I find that concerning. Why would she think that? She's, she hasn't even been in our house for 24 hours. But anyway, at any rate, um, I could tell she seems a little lonely. And one of the things that was alarming to me was she said that, you know, she was from around here, but had moved down to Estero, Florida, and, you know, was wiped out by that hurricane down there. Went back, went, they got through a divorce, but now the family hates her. Like, things kind of didn't match up, but I guess maybe I'm misunderstanding, and that's a possibility. And um, he said that, uh, she said that he has our address. And I said, well, why did you, you know, if you kind of fear him, why would you give him the address that you're staying at? And that's something that I'm concerned with. I know, I know. Ugh, fucking Florida. So, so anyway, she goes on and on and on and on. And Justin's blowing up the phone. Jill's blowing up the phone. Everyone's blowing up the phone. People in the chat, get her out of it. So then it gets a little weirder. She's going around the house, taking pictures of everything. Oh my God. Yeah, she's taking pictures of everything. Every piece of the house. I'm like, I locked my bedroom door and my closet, locked the code, the whole shebang. What do you have that's valuable? Anything that's valuable is in my closet. Anything that says Dolce Gabbana is in my closet. So anyway. Yeah, yeah, you go, you go to stop something. Anyway, Gina Diamond is over there in an Uber on our way over to my house. Gina Diamond, who I only met once, but I love her. Because Gina Diamond has called me up and goes, oh my God, I'm gonna go over there and protect Violet. <laughs> what? I told I. Shut up, Gina Diamond's my best friend. Really? Yes. Because you know, you've known her for like nine months. So. Listen, don't talk shit about Gina Diamonds. I'll fuck everybody up in this car and you can walk to New Jersey. By the time you get to New Jersey, the funeral will be over and I'll have diamond earrings on my ears. Thank you. Next. I'm the mother. Anyway, I say. Gina's probably listening. Listen, I love Gina Diamond. I'm saying she's the best friend. Listen, I love Gina Diamond. That's my bitch. So anyway. Listen, I love Gina Diamond. That's my bitch. So anyway. Adrian, why don't you lock your office? Huh? I don't have a key when you're uh. Yeah, well, I will get it. Mm. We love Gina. No. I'm... We should have Prince stay at the house. <sighs> if he does, he's going to drink everything in the back room. I mean, no. That's better than risking some random person. Anything that says Dolce and Gabbana will be gone. Not for Prince. So anyway, um... When, so anyway, after I talk to Justin, Justin's like, oh my God, girl, you got to get that lady out of your house. She's taking pictures of everything and everyone in chat's freaking the hell out. And I'm like, Justin, don't you think my skin's crawling? Of course my skin's crawling. Oh my God. Gina's like, get me a fucking Uber, bitch. And I get the fucking Uber in a heartbeat. So, um, Gina, please put her. <laughs> who takes pictures of someone's house? You're right, Lisa. Yay, Gina is there. Gina's there. Gina, are you there? Gina. Molly, she just walked in the house. Okay, now the lady thinks Gina is my cousin. You're going east. No, that way. That's fine. That's fine. You, you, you should have went wait, that wait, way. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just, hold, just hold on here, please. You gotta go to Hershey Park. Alright, she's in everyone. Okay. So anyway, she's like, 
I go, I go, my cousin Gina's coming. She's like, what? You don't trust me? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm a human being. I'm a person. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I feel so uncomfortable now. I said, no, Gina's going to come and help bring you to go get your rental car. She goes, oh, you don't trust me. And then I say, she goes, don't you want to see my driver's license? And I said, yes. And she goes, there you go. And I want to take a picture. She goes, no, you can see it. We can't take a picture of it. And she goes, I feel so uncomfortable. I'm going to leave. And I said, just show out. Yeah. So just hold up. I said, she, I go, you're not leaving. I go, number one, because if you leave, there are no refunds. You don't get a refund. I go, but let me tell you something. I go, you're walking around my house. You're taking pictures of my house. And you're saying in front of a thousand people that you've been put here. She goes, bye, Jesus. And I said, okay. I go, well, let's try to get through today. Can we do that? Yeah, I know. We can. Glad she's there. Amby, I'd rather her be at your house, okay? She goes, she goes, don't you think it's coincidental that your mom just passed and I was, and I'm a hospice nurse and Jesus sent me here? I'm like, now I really want to see a license. Pull me up. So then I send the picture, of, like, pull me up. I take a picture and send it to a bunch of my friends. You know, my friends like Jonathan Lee Riches. My friends like Jonathan Lee Riches. My friends like Jonathan Lee Riches. Comes back and I said, all right, you're very well educated. No arrests. You got assets. You're, you are who you say you are. Everything matches up. All right, we're good. She goes, I just feel so uncomfortable. I said, you know what? Take your ass back to that golden girl's room and go have yourself some Maker's Mark or whatever you fuck you like. And I think I will. So Gina, Gina walked into the house and said, hi, I'm Adrian. Cause she said, Gina. <laughs> Adrian is a good man. Oh, thanks. You look so pretty today. Oh, you want to say I just threw some makeup on. There was no point in putting any real makeup on. Cause I knew something was gonna trigger makeup. I don't need this. She goes, I don't need this today. I'm looking at her like, yo. She goes, I have so many things on my mind. Yo. Yeah, I can help you. I told, I told Gina's name. You I said, you? Gina's my cousin. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Okay, great. Uh, do you have our email? Do you have uh, my email address? That's my wife. Okay, that's good. That, that's fine. That's good. Let me give you my email address too. Yeah, she's a lot like Robin. Okay, my first name Walter, and then Dot Zdinsky. My last name Z D A Z I N S K Y. Okay, so your hourly's less? Yeah, that's always a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I I, I really can't talk too much, you know, I can't really get too much. But what I've been telling her is I think that on our end we need to do some research. We need to say boom boom boom, you know, here are violations. You know, because I hear that. Even that. Even that. I, I hear what you're saying there. Thank you for being a friend. And, um, Hi, Pam. I don't really think that's going to be very. Like no, I don't want to drive. We are not even close to getting out of Pennsylvania. You need gas? I had to pee. The FBA is fast tracking a few of these drugs for what? Loss? Fat loss? So I guess it really helps. You know what I have for fat loss? I have these. Product. This is what I started, and I have lost weight. Um, I brought them with me. I should take it right now. It's called um, that's Excedrin. It's a perfume. Nexium. I only bought one of the pill bottles. So that's the other. China Slim Tea. Yeah, I can't. I, I wanted to do it the other day, but I, I have been regular lately. Um, what the fuck? Um, what is it called? What have I been taking, Adrian? Those, those little pills? Um, shit, where is it? Ooh, what the hell are they? Oh. 
Oh, I'll show you them. Rebelsis, it's, it's called. It's called Rebelsis. Oh, yeah, I got my poopery. Dude, this stuff works. You spray it in the toilet twice. And you, you do it very discreetly. And nobody knows what you're up to. Excedrin migraine. You can't, you can't. Oh, here it is. Now it's for my charger. Toothbrush. Gina, Gina, what are you doing with her? Gina, what are you doing? Where's Gina? I've been to Hershey once and that was at the hospital. Oh, did you get good care there? It's a teaching hospital, so they have to be nice to you. Oh, here's the, oh, Gina, I have I have her thing. Tell Gina that I have the, uh, I have the, uh, I have her, uh, here it is, Rebelsis, this is it. You take this shit, in six months you'll be down 50 pounds. Rebelsis. Jen took it, to six months and she lost 50 pounds. So I started taking it. Now, I don't need to lose no 50 pounds, but. I'll take another one, fuck it. All you gotta do is take one. All you gotta do is take one right in the morning. But the thing is, is what I don't like about it is it tastes disgusting. It tastes like battery acid. And yeah, you don't need to take her out on a walk. Um, I take her out, she's good. And right now, um, a lot she's been communicating with the dogs, and the dogs are going past their leashes. Uh, they have uh, buzzards, and they go past. Is anybody else on Rebelsis? Does it make you run to the bathroom? Um, one hand hated the blonde. What? Oh, holy shit. I did do that in Vegas, and I looked amazing. That's when I had all those muscles in my stomach. Because I'm lazy. I could do that again. I could do that again. And you felt great to be a liar. <gasps>